Hello, today we are going to discuss about routing protocols. As far we have discussed about what is routing, so in this we will learn about its protocol to route the packet in the network. So in this we will learn about the type of routes like static route, dynamic route and the default routes and their protocol like static routing protocol and the dynamic routing protocol. So let's first start with type of routes. So before going with that, first of all discuss what is routing. So routing is a process of selecting best path in a network. So selection of the path is done on the basis of the minimum hop count or the cost of transmission of each link. So on the basis of this, there are two type of routes static route and the dynamic route so first is static route that is static routes are config configured manually by the network administrator this means the network administrator adds the value of each route in the network so whenever any change in the network occur then the administrator have to manually configure the change in change in the network so it is used for simple and small network as the config um, uh, large configuration is required and it is more secure route as compared to the dynamic route next is dynamic route so the dynamic routes are the routes which routers get from the other routers via routing protocol so means it means dynamic routes are configured automatically in the network so whenever there is any change in the network then the router updates the information automatically and it is used in a large network and dynamic route is a less secure route than the static route Next is the default route. Default route is a one kind of special route where default route can be configured manually as well as dynamically or automatically. It means the uh, configuration is done manually and uh, it is also generated by routing protocol such as OSPF. So default route is used when a router receive a package whose destination, uh, destination is no, not mentioned in the routing table. So for that routing the packet in uh, routing the packet in the network. So the router transfer the packet to next hub by defining its default route so the default routes can be configured by setting destination address and the subnet mask to be zero it means the ip address of the destination and subnet mask is set to zero to define default route in the network the next is static routing protocols so a static route is a special route which is configured by the network administrator manually so it means the the, uh, to route the packet in the static route, a static routing protocol is used. So, static route routing is a type of network routing technique used for manual configuration and selection of a network route. So, it is used where the network parameters and environments are expected to be remain constant. It means like IP address of the source, destination, or routers are are constant are remain constant in the network so static route is not a routing protocol instead it is the routing technique for config configuring static route on a cisco router type ip route static desti its destination network address or the subnet mask and exit interface or the network hop ip it means the interface through which the packet have to be forwarded in the network so type this command in the cisco uh, cisco router command window to configure the static routing protocol next is advantages and disadvantages of static routing protocol so first goes with advantages it require no overhead information so it means uh, for uh, in static routing there is no uh, requirement of the overheads uh, in the routing table so no bandwidth uses between link it means as the configuration is done manually the router have to uh, routers have to go with less traffic on over the network so for it forms the highly secure network as the configuration is only known by the network administrator the next is disadvantages so it is uh, before designing the uh, network or before uh, defining the routes in the network complete knowledge of the network is required next is it is not easy to implement on large network because it is a time consuming process and next is all router have to route manually if network topology changes the next is dynamic routing protocol so a dynamic routing protocol is used to find best route to forward the packet to the destination it means the dynamic routing protocol is configured automatically in the network so the common protocols used by dynamic routing protocols are rip ospf isis and bgp etc we will learn about this protocol later on 
सो दीज आर दी कॉमन प्रोटोकॉल्स इन डायनेमिक राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल दी राउटर ऑटोमेटिकली अपडेट्स इज राउटिंग टेबल अकॉर्डिंग टू द चेंज इन द नेटवर्क सो फॉर कॉन्फ़िगरिंग डायनेमिक रूट सेट द डेस्टिनेशन एड्रेस एंड द सबमिट मास्ट एड्रेस टू द जीरो नेक्स्ट इज एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस सो फर्स्ट एडवांटेजेस लेस मैनुअल लेस मैनुअल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड एज द डायनेमिक राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स आर कॉन्फ़िगर्ड ऑटोमेटिकली सो राउटर्स आर अपडेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली इफ एनी चेंज अकर इन नेटवर्क एंड इट इज मोर स्केलेबल प्रोटोकॉल एज एडिंग एंड डिलीटिंग ऑफ डिवाइस इज ईजी नेक्स्ट इज डिसएडवांटेजेस एज मोर लोड इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द राउटर इन द नेटवर्क बिकॉज राउटर हैव टू रूट द डन द राउटिंग इट सेल्फ नेक्स्ट इज नेटवर्क नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड बिफोर डूइंग द राउटिंग एंड लेस सिक्योर नेटवर्क एज द राउटिंग इज डन बाय द राउटर्स इट सेल्स और इट इज इट इज राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल वेयर द राउटिंग इज डन ऑटोमेटिकली सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल थैंक यू